Rebecca Robeson, interior designer, businesswoman, and mother. Join me as I take you through my projects, my life, and what keeps me driven to design. Welcome back to Driven to Design. Last week we had a lot of fun pulling together the footage to show you what we've accomplished in our offices so far and how the move-in went. Well, this week should be even better because while we were preparing and planning for our move, we were also working. Do you remember the La Jolla project? It's been some time since I showed you the model of the terrace and what it's going to look like. We had an unavoidable cooling off period while the plans were going through the permitting process. They've since been stamped and Andy and crew are digging and framing diligently. Like a crazy man. That's not really Andy, that's more like me. Scott's the project manager on this one, so he and I are headed to the job site to see is Andy on track and how are things progressing. Now I know that our homeowner used to be a gymna gymnast That's right. and she's really good at the balance beam, but I'm wearing heels, I'm not so sure. Over there we go. And then I'll do my dismount. <laughs> One of the biggest things that we're doing here is the foundation work and moving into the steel framing, but we're also lowering what was the deck so you can see where it was. We not only had to remove the deck, but we also needed to absorb some of the landscaping by digging an entire foot down to accommodate the cabana. This is a cake. This is fabulous. Oh, it's yeah. awful. It doesn't come in anything less red. Well, here's our wood sample. Well, it's really beautiful. I mean, it's, it's all fire rated too. That's the thing, so it can be up here. We definitely want to have wood on the floor and the ceiling, but yeah. just to maybe yeah. a different color. If it's wood, it's got to be that stuff. <laughs> Why does it have to be this stuff? Because yeah. it has to be, it has to have this fire rating of oh. like a one hour. We can, we can put some fire rating on it. Doesn't, <laughs> doesn't it come in a foam? That's right. That's right. This is not good. Even I do not want stucco. orange. This is orange. <laughs> we don't use orange in this house. So, I mean, this one is because it's, you know, that's, is that orange? <laughs> if you don't think that's orange, Andy, I'm concerned. Look at your shoes. Put your feet up here. These shoes are orange. <laughs> Oscar, he can figure this out. Well, thank you so much for your yeah. contribution. <laughs> okay, I think I want to walk across there okay. and see how it looks over there. And let's talk again about how far out we can go. Okay. All right, let's do it. We're off. And this time, it's to New York City. This project is located in a gorgeous Manhattan high-rise. The client owns a breathtaking apartment on the Upper East Side, but wasn't completely satisfied with the size. So what did she do? She purchased the neighboring unit and had the walls taken down. It's a crazy construction zone in there right now, so it's a little hard to tell what's going on. Fortunately, Rebecca has a model for you. We had a great adventure. We visited some really cool showrooms and we got to fly sleeper class. One of the most quaint and charming areas in San Diego County is Coronado Island. It's pretty well known for its beautiful beach and luxury hotel. It's also the location of one of our latest projects. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Tom and Luann just moved out here from North Carolina. They purchased their dream home. The outside location, that's a dream. The inside, not so much. My view was, it was never nice. There was never, <laughs> there was never a time that this kitchen was really nice. It has the nice features. The, the pantry there has slide out. All the drawers slide out. There's a little, um, Oh, yeah, yeah. Keep in mind the things that you like about this functionally and try to keep those. Obviously, we're redoing the kitchen. Yeah. That's going to be, yeah. I love the house immediately and the clients, so friendly and so welcoming. 
We have no, um, nothing in stone. It, we're okay. going to really defer to you in a lot of ways. Right, so we, we were thinking, I love we were thinking that. Hawaiian. If we want to have our whole family here, that's probably not going to be possible, so we've decided to add a, a, a second, second story. story. Whether or not the additional story ever becomes a reality, every room of what's here currently needs to be remodeled. It's not about me being right or in control. You guys tell them I do not have a control issue. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, originally just a U shape. You. And, and this was an open well, courtyard. Oh. So they closed this in. We think Interesting. Like Probably the most striking interior feature of this home are these indoor windows. And then um, open that up to the pool. And is there a pool yet? Yes. Yeah. Well, you'll see. It's oh, an, wow. It's There's a pool or most of a pool. It needs some work. But gosh, what potential. What is in that building now? There's a garage. Okay, let's go. And here's the bonus. They have another structure. I think it's gonna be my granny flat. So you still want it to be a fully containable kitchen, bedroom, bathroom. Yeah. But have access on this side as opposed to there to make the bathroom bigger. Right. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. The house has definitely gone through some funky stages over its lifetime. Here's a little a nice touch right there. You see how they, they, the, um, the little triangle is not finished yeah. through, so it's just clear air. And kind of, <laughs> I was, I was wondering. Yeah, I love the light. <laughs> and whether it's a mix of styles, eras, or just some funky things like the outsides now become part of the new inside, it's gonna need some restoration, refinement, and redesign. And I think I know a team that can do just that. This is gonna be fun. I hope you love us. <laughs> Rebecca, Grayson, and I took the business trip of a lifetime to beautiful, fabulous, romantic Bermuda! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's just gorgeous. White rooftops, brightly colored houses everywhere, and the water. I've never seen so many variations of blue before. This was a trip I will never forget. But just wait until you see this project. So, you might be wondering, what's up with Project Airstream? I mean, how long does it take to dress up a 50-foot submarine tube, right? Well, longer than you might think. Accessibility is the main challenge. Everything gets brought down in pieces and assembled inside. That's the start. And then there was this. It appears as though we had a bit of a leak. And checking on that leak, I noticed that this is actually leaking now too, which is really bad news for us. When they put the unit in here, and it wasn't us, they clearly didn't properly seal things. So it's actually leaking through the bolts. That basically gives you an idea of your opening, yeah, which would be it's through here. Super tight. It's a tight squeeze, no doubt about it. Does anybody have anything I can write with, like chalk or? But I have an idea on how to mitigate its severity. This part is kind of what's encroaching on you. We can't do anything about the right. width. Exactly. Oh, this looks so good. Yeah. Ed Pafard has made great progress on the murals on the walls inside there, and the furniture is coming together beautifully. This looks so awesome. Oh my gosh, they're gonna love it. So you can see we have been favorably busy. I'm not gonna say it's not had its low points. Rebecca, she's in there. But we are taking on the challenges. It's a piece of cake, ta-da! Making great progress, and excited to begin some of the best projects of my career. If you haven't already, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and leave us a comment. Which of these projects has you the most excited, and which one do you think is gonna be the most challenging for us? We would love to hear from you.
Thanks for stopping by to Driven to Design again this week, and we will see you next time, next week, next Monday. Stucco? Hello, you didn't point. <laughs> did you point? All you did was you took your finger off and you went like that. Well, you got to use your I other hand. Faster.